Okay. Yeah. So, so now we know that uh, mental health, ill health, actually. Yeah. Broad. Okay. So, yeah. Just explain to us the different types of mental mental. <laughs> no. So mental a health. Your health, yes. Yes. So there are different types uh, of mental a health, but broadly, that's quite a long um, uh, uh, definitions uh, that we use um, for to uh, to classify mental. Which I will not. They are all technical terms which I will yes. not bore your listeners with. But broadly, there are two broad uh, uh, types. And the one broad type is the broad that we refer to as neurosis. Okay. And that's what we, is now called common mental health problems. Okay. And then the other type is what we refer to as psychotic. Mm. And that is more severe end of mental illness. Okay. So the neurosis is uh, things like anxiety, panic, depression. Mm. Those are the, 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 what we now call common mental health problems. Okay. And even within this common mental health difficulty, there is still levels of severity. There is mild, <clears throat> so you can hear, maybe somebody says somebody is mildly depressed. Yeah. Or severe depression or chronic depression. Mm. Or mild or severe or chronic anxiety. Mm. Or generalized anxiety or panic or phobia. Those are, you know, uh, common mental health uh, difficulties. Wow. Then you have the psychotic ones uh, that we refer to, and these are the ones that may affect somebody, which kind of interfere with a person's perception of reality. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, I may include hallucination, uh, such as seeing or hearing or smelling things no one else can hear, or you know, may behave or act differently. So these kind of uh, conditions are more psychotic. Mm. So like uh, psychosis, like schizophrenia, bipolar conditions, all those are the severe ends of mental health okay. uh, difficulty. Mm. So would I be right to say that uh, <clears throat> for somebody to suffer a severe kind of uh, mental ill health at least the person who first starts experiencing the mild version is that is that correct not necessarily okay uh not necessarily um sometimes um uh, some very extreme stressful condition or traumatic experiences uh, could trigger those severe end, mm. or maybe substance misuse uh, could trigger those severe ends. Okay. So uh, all of a sudden, you know, some very stressful condition or traumatic experience, or maybe substance misuse or violence could trigger the severe end. Yeah. But sometimes, like you said, um, when some minor or common mental health uh, mental ill health conditions yeah. hasn't been properly managed it could also uh, eventually lead to somebody become going to the severe end of mental health condition mm, mm, mm. so uh, but usually the onset yes yeah um the onset of um, um some mental, severe mental health conditions starts much later uh, like later in teenage years, not yeah. very early in life. Mm. So most uh, like children, um, that maybe primary age children, uh, usually will experience much more of the common mental health condition. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the onset of things like first onset of psychosis and all that, evidence suggests that it is usually from say the age of 13, 14, usually not wow. less than that. Wow. Usually not younger than that. Even, even, even then, that's that's young. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, that's still very young. Mm -hmm. You know, so what are the visible symptoms? Was what, yes. what are the visible? Okay, 
So before we go to the visible symptoms of mental ill health, mm. I also want to explain that are some other mental ill health that I haven't mentioned. Okay. So that when we are saying the the the, the, the visible symptoms, uh, so that we kind of take it in general. So we talked about depression, anxiety, panic, yes. phobia, but I, ha I didn't mention things like uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't mention something it's, like... See, it's, it's so broad. It's so broad. Yes. I didn't yeah. mention something like OCD, uh, which is obsessive compulsive disorder. Mm, mm. I didn't uh, mention something like personality disorder. Um, and there's borderline personality disorder, there's narcissist personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder. There's also postnatal depression yeah. and postpartum. There is self harm, there's eating disorders. There are so many other uh, conditions that are kind of on the fringes, like hair pulling and things like that, um, that could fall under low self esteem, perfectionism. All those things that could fall under uh, mild to moderate mental wow. health now, condition. Now, now, now I understand why <laughs> maybe a quarter of the population might be considered to to have mental ill health. Yes. Yes. So, because see, all these various things you just mentioned. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh and also body, there's a body image, um, there's so many, um, you know, um, different types of um, uh, mental health conditions. So yes. that's why a quarter of the population will experience it once. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Wow. So in terms of symptoms that you asked me, mm. uh, what uh, we could notice as yes. uh, to know that someone is not coping. Um, for one of the early symptoms that you will notice that someone is not coping is not caring about things they used to do mm. or things they used to enjoy. Yeah. Is that that is a warning sign that something somebody is not coping. Uh feeling sad, down or hopeless most of the day, nearly every day. Mm. And I want to put a caveat on this one. And the caveat I want to say is that all of us are on the spectrum of mental health, like I defined before. Yes. So sometimes your mental health is optimum, just like your physical health is optimum. And sometimes it's not quite optimum. So it's like if you look at it as a continuum, zero yeah. to hundred. So that means that there are times we might feel wobbly. Mm. Doesn't necessarily mean that we have mental health condition. Okay. There are times maybe something happened affected how we feel. Mm. It doesn't necessarily, but when it is now nearly every day, yeah, for a long time, mm. then we begin to say there's a problem here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then uh, un unexplained weight gain or loss, sleeping too much or too little. Okay. And this is really critical. Yeah. Because um, in a lot of the mental health, uh, even common mental health condition, uh, one of the things we notice is uh, lack of concentration and poor sleep, especially in things like depression. Yeah. And anxiety. You notice lack of depression, I'm sorry, lack of concentration and poor sleep fatigue and lack of energy so someone is so unmotivated uh lack energy is always tired yeah do anything that he used to do uh she used to do feeling feelings of guilt mm. and worthlessness so you know someone always feeling guilty always ruminating you know you know ruminate rumination is worry yeah yeah but the difference between Rumination, the way we call rumination and worry is most times worry is about the future. It's okay. about the what if, okay. the what ifs. But the rumination is about the past. Mm. It's about why did this happen to me? Why me? Yeah. What have I done to deserve this? Mm. So others, someone is spending so much time feeling guilty and ruminating a lot. Yeah. Or what, feeling worthless. Uh, conf being conf unnecessarily confused without really any uh, biological explanation. Okay. Uh, moving and speaking more slowly or much more faster than usual. Wow. So it's, it's mostly a difference from the norm. Yes. Okay. R restlessness or having trouble staying still, 
and having thoughts of suicide. Um, there are a whole lot of things, um, always fearful, stomach ache, muscle tension, uh, tightness of the chest. Some people, when they are um, having a panic attack, they think they're having heart attack. Mm. Um, but it's until, um, uh, you know, sometimes they call ambulance and ambulance come to pick them and then they check them, they realize that they're not having heart, heart attack, it is panic. Yeah. Uh, fear, you know, fear of shame and all those kind of things. There are so many that I can um, tell you that um, examples of wow. things to look at. Mm, mm, mm. Whew, 